step into my art studio where I have everything set up to do some screen printing today to make shirts for my merch. I've got this big round industrial clothing rack that was a big puzzle. Probably took me an hour to figure out how to put this up in here when it's so close to the ceiling and I had to take it in and out a bunch of times which was hard because the door is really narrow and so I had to like take it apart just to get it outside and then get it to a certain height to be able to stand it up because even though it's lower than the ceiling when it's at a diagonal angle trying to stand up it wouldn't but it's finally in here yay and it's ready to hold all of the shirts as they dry this big messy pile here is the shirts that I am going to be printing on this is a box where you can get a whole speedball screen printing kit with a bunch of supplies but now I just use it as the box to hold my screen because if you don't keep it in something it'll get too dusty and you have to clean it every time you want to print. I'm going to be printing on dark fabric today and so I want to use a light colored screen printing ink. This one is white and you see it's for fabric so not just for paper and also it's opaque and because it says opaque that means it's going to actually show up because you can use a light colored printing ink but it won't show up on your dark fabric if it's not opaque it'll just be kind of a very faint light print so i got that ready i'm going to use my nice rubber squeegee and i have this little squeegee for getting extra paint off of the squeegee or off of the screen. So I've laid the first piece of fabric out to show you how I'm gonna do this before I'm actually printing because once you're printing, you kind of have to just keep going so that your ink won't have the chance to dry in your screen. It doesn't happen that quickly, but quickly enough that you wanna just keep it going and flowing and moving the ink on the screen. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean first before I'm using the actual ink. So I take my screen, I have it facing me the way I want it to go, you know, as opposed to this or something that's backwards. So the screen's actually touching the fabric and if I had a better setup, I would have a screen with some hinges on it so that I can always measure where to put it exactly on the screen and even re-go over it if I needed to, but I'm kind of lazy and haven't set it up that way. So I usually just kind of eyeball it and I'm like, that looks about centered on my shirt. You know, I have kind of a rugged style people are used to anyway. So you put it in, you take your printing ink, not going to do it yet, but I'll do it in a minute. And you put like a big glob of it in the middle. You take your squeegee, you smooth it thickly and generously all over your image. And then you squeegee it all away and you'll see your image again as you get all the paint in the bottom. You do that a couple times, you smooth it back out and squeegee it away. And if you don't do it a couple times, it might be too thin and your image won't show up as well. So you want a nice, thick, opaque image. And I like to set this down on something that I'll have there, just keep the ink from touching anything. And you want your ink away in a little puddle when you remove it slowly. You're going to remove it really slowly. 
and you'll have your image down there. And if you have your ink spread out when you remove it, it'll be really, really too thick and splotchy on your thing. So you want it, you want to be able to see the image on your screen with your ink in a puddle when you remove it. And then pick it up and put your ink back over it so that it's all spread out and it's not gonna dry. Because if you have it all down here and you leave it, then it'll just dry and cake in the little open parts of your screen. This is basically a stencil. And I can do another video on how you actually make your image on your screen, but this is more just the screen printing process once you have your image. And I put it up somewhere so that it's not touching anything. I don't have to do it right now because I only have one hand because I'm holding the camera. But I'm just showing you there's no ink involved. And then you go quickly over to your hangy thing and you hang it up to dry. And I do a whole bunch of things at once and so I'll eventually have them like hanging up back to back so that two shirts can take up the space of one but they're not touching the ink. And it'll take like three days. Hmm. So that's like really, really generous, but I like to give it like two to three days for the paint to fully dry before I do the ironing to set it. So you make sure you have your shirt very well smoothed out, no lumps underneath. It's a little wrinkled and that's okay, but just making sure there's nothing that's gonna create an actual skip in your design by being a lump. And I put it this far up because I only have this much room to fit the screen and we don't want anything to keep the screen from being able to make full contact. So I like to put the board about where the edge of the neck is and then my image will be low enough. And this is my first time lying it down before I put the ink in. So I'm able to kind of adjust it. But once you have ink on the bottom from doing one of your shirts, you're gonna have to just really place it right the first time or you'll get a little smudge. So here goes nothing. Take this ink, this ink I've used in the past. And so there's, when you finish at the end, you can put your unused ink back in so you don't have to worry too much about putting too much on it that you won't end up using. This has kind of a nice, almost metallic glisten to it, this white. And I'm gonna close the lid so that the rest of the ink in my jar won't dry out. Get this off. I can either do it on my screen or on my squeegee. I like to just save as much as possible because the ink's not that expensive, but expensive enough, and I like not wasting things in general. I'll put it in my little tray. Eh. So now I'm just gonna smoothly I'm not pressing down, I'm just spreading the ink all across my image. And so I don't have to try to get it end to end of the frame because I have all that filled in with the screen filler and with tape. I just have to make sure I get it all across the actual image. So that's pretty good. And now I'm ready to press down a little bit. Don't have to press extremely hard, but hard is good. And just in one swoop, pull it all the way across. And now it gathers at the bottom. You spread it back out over your image. Okay, got it spread out across my image again. Maybe I'll kind of put my hand towards the left side to make sure I get enough pressure on the left. And then I can do it one more time. Spready, spready, spready. It's okay if you see it a little bit, just as long as there's ink above those areas. 
So now to even out, I can have my hand a little more towards the right. Make sure I get the right side, but I'm still getting the whole image every time. So now when I pull it off of the shirt, I have the image showing the ink is not in the stencil. You can kind of see it darkening as the fabric is leaving. And if you pull it too fast, it could like fall in on itself and touch itself. So here's your image, yay, it looks pretty good. I would even do maybe another poll or something next time. I can't do it again because I won't be able to line it up. I would if I had it in the hinges, but that's still pretty good. So I'm going to pick up the shirt to hang it, making sure it doesn't touch itself in the ink. and. I need to lean the screen on something so it's not touching the bottom. There we go. Now I'm going to hang it up. Next shirt. So I like panicked and kind of didn't have a really good thing to lean this on. Let's come up with such a thing now. We can even use our ink jar because we won't be opening it that frequently. So having it rest on the wooden part of the frame. There we go. So here is another shirt. Make sure I get any dog hairs that might get stuck in the ink when I print it. Move the sleeves just totally out of the way. This is a long sleeve one. That's old ink. this up enough so that there's room, making sure it's not lumpy under there. Okay, pretty well smoothed out. So now, since there's ink on the bottom of this, I have to really place it correctly. So I got my frame up by the bottom of the opening for the head, got it pretty evened out, and then place. That's how it's going to be. All right, same ink. And then, see I'm going up this time, and then spread. And as you run out of ink, you just take little bits more out of your jar and close the lid again. So once it becomes difficult to like really cover the image, that's when you need to just add more ink and keep it going in here. Just have your pool of ink going. I might do this one four times since the other one I didn't like. Every fabric is different and this one probably holds ink more. Just judging by how softer it is, how much softer, but because the other one didn't hold as well, I'm gonna do four. Also because my first upward stroke while I was kind of distracted was not pressing down very hard. You can do it as many times as you want. If you're like really in a hurry and you get really good at very precise, hard squeegeeing, there are people out there that do one stroke. But I would like to just like chill out and not worry about being perfect on the first time. Okay, so make sure I have it all out of the stencil. Slowly pull it up. Sometimes I'll just hold the shirt down if it's st sticking to it. So now we got a nice pull. And once you see the top of the image get dark, it's out. That looks about the same darkness as the other one. And so I'm going to spread my ink again and take my shirt without letting it touch in on itself. So I let my shirts dry for a few days and now it's time for the step that takes the longest. Once the ink is dry, you have to iron over the image to heat set the ink so that it won't wash out and disappear over time. Some people don't heat set their silk screen prints and maybe they tell the customers to iron it, but 
I don't think any customer is going to do all that, so their prints just fade over time. I want to make it last. Some people have actual heating machines that do this quicker, but I don't, and I've heard you can actually do it in the oven, but that sounds too dangerous to me, so I just do the ironing method. I cover the image with some parchment paper that's made for baking so that the ink doesn't stick to the iron. You could use any kind of paper or thin cloth, and I have done that, but I actually had some parchment paper at home, and I think it's ideal. So once you've ironed for three to four minutes, your screen print is finally ready to use. And this is going to take hours because I have like 20 shirts, so if you think like three to four minutes per shirt and then the time in between the ironing to hang it up and all that. But once it's done with this, they're ready for me to sell as my merch. Yay!